Yo guys, welcome back to another video, wherever you are, special greetings to you. And don't forget, if today is your first time, please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever we draw video. You will be the first person to be notified and know what the video is all about. On this channel, we give you information and updates about migrants and also the latest update around the globe. But in today's video, we are going to be looking at the difference between hospitalita, domicilio, and also residence. So guys, without wasting much time, let's do this thing together. Yeah, guys, but before I start today's video, let me take you back a little bit uh, on my previous video about the Adwe and also the B Uno because what I'm hearing is that uh, the, some schools will not allow you to write the Adwe for the Carta di Sojourno in ORAS, but you write them in theory and also the objectives. That is where it includes the comprehension and then A and B, where you have to choose and where you have to write. Because before, some schools will allow you to only do the ORAS so that it will give you the hardware. But recently, they are saying you have to write um, the, the theory and then both the theory and the uh, objectives aspect so if you go to any school and they say you have to write the theory don't say official cracker said i have to do it in auras you just go and face the theory and then objectives and i think you are going to pass so that is the latest update about the hard way which is for the character sojourner so you have to write the theory and then the objectives take note so if you are ready to do your hard way good luck and all the best and now let's move on to the main reason why we are here today as i said before we are going to be talking about hospitality domicilio and also residence most of the time the hospitality is something important for my migrants who want to renew their documents at the Questura. The Questura always asks these migrants to bring hospitalita. This hospitalita, you have to send it to the Questura in case you don't have uh, your own contract of house which you have done a residence with the, your own contract of house. So if you don't have your own contract of house, that is where you will be needing hospitalita and this hospitalita who can do this hospitalita for you someone who have residence uh let's say the person has a contract of house and then the person has done his residence in a commune with the house contract that is the person who can declare this hospitalita for you in order for it to be valid so that uh, the commune will put the stamp or wherever you took the hospitalita from they will put their stamp on and then the hospitalita will start working for you a lot of people always say i have residence but i don't have hospitalita if you have the residence and then the contract is in your name maybe you were having the residence in the camp and you have left the camp you are no more living in the camp again that residence you cannot use the old residence to renew your documents you have to go and look for the hospitalita in order uh, to allow you to do what to renew your documents and if someone is saying he want to do he or she want to do rest uh hospitalita for you ask the person is the person having residence because if you go to the commune they have to check the person who want to give you the hospitalita whether the person names the result in their system that the person is having a uh, residence before the person can give you uh, the hospitalita that you are looking for and the domencillo is more or less like the hospitalita uh, meaning the current place that you are staying because i can be having residence in torino and now my domencillo is in bologna because i have the residence on in torino and my domicilio is also in Bologna now and also the residence is using your own contract of house to go to the commune to ask for residence the permanent place that you are staying and then later if you go to some place again then you you'll be having domicilio over there and then your residence will be at the place that you use your contract of house to do what to register for the residence so now i hope the explanation is clear now because someone who is having residence that is the only person who can do hospitalita for you and the residence must be valid the contract of the house the person have to pay all the necessary tax that he have to pay in earning or in getting that house contract before the person can declare hospitalita for you and then it will be valid so that you will send it to the questura and they will do whatever 
you want for you because if you don't have house contract a valid house contract and you go to the questura to renew your documents they will ask you about hospitalita and you have to get someone who have residence in order to allow the person do the hospitalita for you and have to go and do it don't say official cracker said it is all us so i will not do the, theo uh, the theory on the and the objectives you have to do in order to earn your adwe certificate and if you make your mind that you want to do it you can do it because i know a guy who did it, uh, the the oras recently and then he failed but now he want to do it again but the same school they are telling the guy that now it is theory and also the objective so the oras is no more there again and this is the update i have for you today in the name still remains official cracker fact news if you have any question you can still drop it in the comment section below until we meet again in the next video please stay safe and stay blessed peace out